Day 7. On the theme. Mary and Our Holiness. The Mirroring Way. Response. The aim is. To respond to the services of holiness that Mary renders to her servants. The first reading is taken from St. Louis Marie de Montfort's book, True Devotion to Mary, Numbers 43 and 45. If devotion to the Blessed Virgin is necessary for all people simply to work out their salvation, it is even more necessary for those who are called to a special perfection. I do not believe that anyone can acquire intimate union with our Lord and perfect fidelity to the Holy Spirit without a very close union with the Most Blessed Virgin, and an absolute dependence on her support. To Mary alone God gave the keys of the cellars of divine love, and the ability to enter the most sublime and secret ways of perfection, and lead others along them. The second reading is taken from True Devotion to Mary. Number 164. One reason why so few souls come to the fullness of the age of Jesus is that Mary who is still as much as ever his mother and the fruitful spouse of the Holy Spirit is not formed well enough in their hearts. If we desire a ripe and perfectly formed fruit, we must possess the tree that bears it. If we desire the fruit of life, Jesus Christ, we must possess the tree of life, which is Mary. If we desire to have the Holy Spirit working within us, we must possess His faithful and inseparable spouse, Mary the divinely favored one whom He can make fruitful. If you are doing this preparation session alone, I invite you to focus on the phrase or word from the scripture just read, that has or have struck you, and spend a few moments reflecting on this word or phrase. On the other hand, if you are doing this in a group, I invite you now to echo or read aloud the phrase or word from the scripture that has or have struck you. All participants are given ample time to echo the word or phrase that touched them. Commentary What are the services that Our Lady renders to her loyal servants? Montfort speaks of five special offices that Mary performs in order to keep us in the spirit of her son Jesus. First, Mary loves us. She loves us because she is truly our mother. Because she knows that God loves us. Because she is grateful to us. For the active love we show her. And because we have consecrated ourselves entirely to her. She loves us not only effectively but effectively. That is, her love is active and productive. She looks out for favorable opportunities to promote our interests, to ennoble and enrich us. She obtains for us the Heavenly Father's blessings, confer true devotion to Mary. Numbers 201-207 Mary provides for all our needs. She provides us with everything we need for body and soul. Above all, she gives us the son she has born, the bread of life. Dear children, she says in the words of divine wisdom, take your fill of my fruits, that is to say, of the fruit of life, Jesus, whom I brought into the world for you. Indeed, she reserves the choicest portion to nourish and sustain her children and servants. Confer true devotion to Mary. Number 208. Third, Mary leads and guides us. She leads and directs us according to the will of her Son. She is the star of the sea, guiding us showing us the path to eternal life and helping us avoid dangerous pitfalls. She leads us by the hand along the path of holiness, steadies us when we are liable to fall, and helps us rise when we have fallen. 
Follow her and you cannot go wrong. Says Street. Bernard. When she upholds you, you will not fall. Confer true devotion to Mary. Number 209. Fourth, Mary defends and protects us. Mary, our beloved mother, shelters us under her protecting wings, as a hen does her chicks. She speaks to us, coming down to our level, and accommodating herself to all our weaknesses. To ensure our safety from the hawk and vulture, she becomes our escort, surrounding us as an army in battle array. Confer true devotion to Mary. Number 210. Fifth. Mary intercedes for us. She intercedes for us with her Son. She brings us into closer union with Jesus Christ. She keeps us in Jesus, and keeps Jesus in us. She guards us, watching over us unceasingly. She keeps the saints in their fullness, says Street. Bonaventure, and inspires them to persevere to the end. Confer true devotion to Mary. Numbers 211 to 212. Guide questions. For personal reflection and sharing. How are Mary's services uniquely manifesting themselves in my life of faith? How do I describe my concrete response to her services? In what ways is my life being transformed?